The long-awaited power drill melee weapon has been added into BO6 with the hit list event. And along with it has been a bunch of bugs. The first of which being is if you head on over to your zombie intel tab, you might notice you got a lot less than before. Now, I haven't been going out of my way to collect zombie intel, but I definitely had more than this. Apparently, with this update, everyone's overall intel progress in zombies got completely reset. And another unfortunate bug to come with this update is that if you had a solo game saved prior to the update, it has now been deleted. So we haven't been off to the hottest start to this event. And just to add in one more wrinkle here, if you want to end up getting the new Sierra 9mm special weapon, which even has its own brand new weapon class in this game, we're going to need to get 50 billion kills as a community. And this event has been out for a few hours at this point, and we are at 615 million kills. So it's gonna be a while till we can get our hands on this weapon. In the meantime, if you wanna get your hands on it, you can head into a private match and go into the firing range. And here you can test the weapon out a bit, but I don't think there's any way for you to use it actually in game on an actual online game, a multiplayer war zone or zombies at this point. I even tried making a custom build for it and saving a zombies build, but I couldn't equip it in the zombies menu. Now onto the star of the show, the power drill melee weapon here. And honestly, I went through when I started working on this right when it came out. We immediately hopped in the game and started getting our normal camos for it and the special camos done. I just need to work on gold and then we're gonna get it opal. And I might've been a little too overexcited for this weapon because it's a power drill, you know? It's very goofy. I was expecting maybe a little something more with the weapon, like... I saw people saying like maybe we'd just be able to rev it up and walk around with it and be able to get melee kills that way. But nope, when you just hold it like this, all you do is get this loud noise and then once you let go, you swing. And it works the same as just a normal swing like this. And apparently another feature of this update is an insane amount of packet burst. But for those of you wondering, where does this stack up when it comes to all the melee weapons in this game? And I think this is the most similar to the baseball bat because I think in multiplayer, this is still a two-shot kill. So out of the three melee weapons we now have in this game, two of them are two-shot kills in multiplayer, which are absolutely ridiculous. I don't think there should ever be a melee weapon added into the game if it's not going to one-shot kill. Like, it's just absolutely ridiculous. It's a two-shot kill right now in round four. And the melee speed on it isn't very bad. It's still, like, a decent, like, rate. You can swing it pretty fast around, like, the same speed as the bat as well as its damage output. But if I could ask for one thing, especially with these melee weapons, is that our charged attack, where this is supposed to be, like, some sort of, like, pseudo-assassination in multiplayer... Maybe make this do a bit more damage or like uh, make this be a harder hit in zombies. This is basically useless. I had somebody mention this on stream and I didn't even think about it is that this thing is going to be really difficult to try to be stealthy with in multiplayer because every time you swing it, it's going to make a nice little drill noise. I guess we're lucky that it don't matter that much in zombies. I don't want to sit here and complain about them adding in a new event. You know, I, I would love to see them add in more events, get more content added in. But this event really just pales in comparison to anything in MW3 in terms of the way they handled events. Because we were constantly getting brand new events in MW3 with a lot of great rewards. And rewards that didn't seem like it took weeks or at least a dozen days to complete the entire event. Or at least when it did, there was like a timer on it letting you know when you could go and unlock the next part for the event. But for this, getting the, what is it, like 50 billion kills or some ridiculous number that the community needs to get to, that ain't going to be happening for a while. So we ain't going to see that new special weapon for at least a week. Ooh, quick revive. You know that? Thanks, vending machine. At least something's going right today. Oh, and here on round nine, the zombies are a three hit kill with this. Three hits. That is a crazy amount for this low of a round. Oh, and I guess while I'm getting my ass beat, I might as well throw an excuse out there. I don't think the hit reg on this weapon is as good as the bat. For whatever reason, it doesn't feel like it has that lunge that the, the bat and the knife have. There's been multiple times where I've been up in a zombie's face, swinging this drill, and it just completely misses them. And I don't know how they do it. I, I, don't, I don't know how it just goes right past them. And it also feels like, at least to me, I don't know if there's a confirmation bias or not. It probably is. But it feels like these vermin rounds are way more frequent. This is already my second one of this game, and we're on round 10. Like, I get maybe they show up every five to seven rounds, but they feel extremely frequent whenever I'm using this weapon. And let me tell you, trying to take down these vermin with only a melee weapon is not an easy job. They do so much damage. So maybe our falling zombies here can help us out. Please just give me, like, a, a sentry gun or something. Oh, an RCXT. That works. We can use that. Bye, vermin. 
See you later, stupid bugs. I'll be taking that max ammo. That's very helpful for us right now. And let's get this up to rare. And I know what you're thinking. Maybe the one thing that can save this is a pack-a-punch ability. Well, after we pack-a-punch it, it gets the nice ability of uh, doing the same thing. It's literally the same, except it just does a bit more damage. But I am doing a lot of complaining here. I, I, don't, I don't mean to just, you know, shit on the parade. But... It is just basically another melee weapon with a cool sound and like, I don't know, skin for it. Oh, great. But it does work decently well as a melee weapon. Like our first game with it, we hopped in and immediately were able to make it up to round 44 before uh, succumbing to the zombies. And we actually get to use melee macchiato for a little bit. I guess on the bright side, I've been able to try to harness my melee build and optimize it as much as possible. And I've been messing around with what ammo mod to use. I think the one that's worked best for us is dead whale right here as you can see that lightning came down and stunned all the zombies around me which has been extremely helpful for getting uh cornered with this and i'm also using melee macchiato with the vampiric whatever augment on it so that way whenever i deal some melee damage i also get a little bit of health back and i do have aether shroud here with the melee weapon augment where as soon as you activate it it'll bring out your melee weapon and every time you get a kill with it it should extend your Aether Shroud by a bit. And then I also have the other augment for Aether Shroud where it's just extended by default. This is actually ridiculous. There's no zombies even out on the map right now. All I'm doing is walking and it's just packet burst, packet burst, packet burst, packet burst. Oh, and we got Mystic Gold somehow through the four frames we're playing on. Holy shit, it's a miracle. Now, the only thing I can think of that might be causing this packet burst is that I already have a saved game from earlier while I was streaming. And I just went ahead and hopped on the same map. Maybe if I just leave the game and reopen our previous one, maybe the packet burst will go away. I guess we'll find out. All right. This is about to be significantly more difficult. We are now on round 29, but I don't see any packet burst. So maybe that was the issue the whole time. It was me. I'm the problem. But in this game, I had Frenzy Guard equipped and it basically still does the same thing. Uh, I still have on the Frenzied Fire Augment because the other augment where there's like a little explosion that goes on when you activate it, I don't really think it does a whole lot. And I just feel like I'd forget to reactivate Frenzied Fire. So I just went ahead and left it on, but getting a nice little armor repair is very good on top of us only taking damage to our armor. And also in this game, I got brain rot on my drill here because I have the augments on my drill where once a zombie is brain rotted, it almost works like a monkey bomb where it's going to attract all the zombies to them. And after a short amount of time, it'll just blow up. But I'm really liking using Frenzy Guard because I feel like it restores a lot faster than Aether Shroud does because I'm pretty sure Aether Shroud did replenish way faster than Frenzy Guard back in Cold War. But it seems to be the opposite in this game. Even if I have it on to where I can hold like two charges, it feels like it just fills up very very slow so i definitely feel way safer with frenzy but i still have been having trouble taking out these abominations there we go finally slept them it seems like the hit rag on their mouths is not that great with melee weapons i don't think it's a drill specific thing i think it's been a thing since mw3 where if you can hit the sweet spot on their mouth you can still do like massive critical damage to them but it's it's pretty rare to actually hit it, even if you're sitting there aiming at the same spot, like one out of nine swipes might hit it. I gotta remember I'm working on Opal, so let's hit that nuke and take out the Mangler, and of course we brain rotted him. He should still die, right? You're not just gonna go after everyone? Like it's gonna it's gonna wear off after a little bit? Oh, yep, there it goes. Wore off, and now we kill. Perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and switch back to our dead wire. I think that's probably our best bet for at least taking out this many zombies. Ooh, there we go. That thunder effect is huge. It's done so many zombies. That was sick. The best part about like all these augments and everything that I got going on right now is that it feels like I can just sit there and swing my drill sometimes. As long as I got armor to put on, I'm basically like invincible just sitting here hitting the zombies. Like all the shit I've been talking about the drill, it can still do some pretty decent damage at a higher round. What's up, Mangler? Oh, and you brought your friend. You guys want to help me get Opal? Thank you. Appreciate it. How many are you? There's like four just right here. Night-night, another one. Keep them coming. 
And also, if you don't know, well, I, I think most people do know that the weak point on the Mangler is his cannon, but you can also melee the cannon to do a good amount of damage. And it should be like basically a two hit kill on him if you can somehow aim it out in the middle of that giant horde. Ooh, or a one hit with insta-kill. The sad part about like actually messing around with the melees and getting better with them is that I think they might be better than almost all of the bullet weapons. It's just a little more dangerous to use because these zombies like the pre-swing like crazy. You get anywhere near them, they're swinging at you before you can even get a swing off. But most weapons at this point aren't doing as much damage as the drill is going to be doing. Like here at round 32, we are holding our own with kind of with ease. It's a little stressful. There's a lot going on on the screen. But we're still taking things out and keeping it moving for the most part. We just got to be really careful about our positioning. Go to the monkey bomb, please, and leave me alone. Let's try to take these manglers out. Try to get some nice damage on the abomination. But we are very low. I need armor. Anyone got some for me? Oh, shit. Are you guys going to let me out of here? Not looking like it. Oh, look at those power-ups, though. What is that? A full armor and a bonus point? I see a shiny object and I gotta run to it. Let me back. No, full armor, don't go away. I need you. No! We got there just too late. Whatever, at least we reset the spawns. Just a little breathing room to reset our train. Anything on the ground worth using? Oh, a shock stick. These are actually so clutch. Throwing those down and getting everything stunned. Getting those free hits in. Please die, abomination. Come on. All right, all right, all right, all right. Relax. Okay, it's not that serious. It's just a little drill. You're scared of a drill abomination? You, you're a giant monster. Just eat a few more shots of it and die. Please. Oh, frenzied. See you later, Mangler. Abomination, it's your turn now. There we go. And all you zombies can head out. Oh, and a full power. Like, we're still clearing rounds here with the drill. And like I was talking about a bit earlier where these uh, vermin rounds are a little dangerous to do, uh, I've been carrying around the Mustang and Sally just in case I go down with Quick Revive because it seems like uh, Dying Wish goes off a lot more often than I'd want it to. And then I just run out of uses with Dying Wish, so... It's like I'm missing an augment there. So I've been putting on equivalent exchange so I can use my Mustang and Sally's to get back up. And then I also have been using the jet gun a little bit for the vermin rounds. Just because going for those melee kills on the vermins is just... It's almost like trying to get yourself killed. Unless you play very, very patient. And if you do that, round's going to take forever. Oh, we got the ray gun. Don't really want that at the moment, though. We're finally freed from that hell. No way the game crashed. All I did was just go ahead and drop the ray gun out of the chest. Oh, please say it's saved. I don't want to have to grind up another high round. Come on. This is not looking good for COD today. Your last match ended unexpectedly and a temporary save file has been created. Do you want to continue your last match or discard the save and start a new one? I'd like to continue. Please don't put me in another vermin round though. Don't make me redo the vermin round. Okay, we're good. Except... A little pack of burst. Please go away. Oh, you got to be kidding me. We can't escape the pack of burst. I can't save and quit until next round. We're just going to have to fight through it. God damn it. Well, maybe we can get Opal before this round's even over. Let's just target the manglers and hope for the best. Ah, uh, a level up. Did we get Opal? We unlocked the Molotov. Maybe that's Opal. We're just going so hard the game can't even load it. What about that one? We kind of just did bully that round, though. We absolutely destroyed everything that came our way. Now, can I save and quit? Thank you. Nope, we are getting fat packet burst even just sitting here on the main menu, dude. Oh, what a game. Are we going to cooperate now, game? Hmm? Are we going to do what we're supposed to do? Looks like it. Don't want to be too optimistic. I think it's good. I think we're fine. Let's get back to killing some manglers. It's so crazy how just, like, saving and quitting a game can save you from packet burst. Why, why is that a thing? Is there too much going on in my previous game? Like, what's the deal? Ooh, that was actually crazy! The thunder going off there and killing literally everything? Oh, we got a calling card for it? And we immediately go down. Alright, well, small little victories is what we're going for. And 
we're getting a whole lot of small little defeats. That vermin just fucked me up. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to pop our important gobble gum real quick. Okay, now that the zombies are farting, we should feel a little bit safer. They're not as intimidating when they're ripping ass. And we should probably also pop Idolize. And our Wonder Fizz isn't here until we beat the round. So that's cool. Uh, can I buy a Self Revive? I can still. Beautiful. Let's grab Quick Revive back. Repair our armor. And maybe get some hits on this guy. Oh, right here? Nope. Okay, cool. Idolize, gone. We need to get all of our perks back the Amish way. We gotta buy them back crazy style. Uh, we need PhD and Melee Macchiato from right over here. Gimme. I'll also be taking this. Gonna need me a little bit of this. And how do I get out of here without dying? So here's the thing, zombies. Only one of us is making it out of here alive. It's gonna be me. I see the hole. I'm gone. I'm out of here. Let me jug back. Is that every perk that we can get without the Wonder Fizz? I'm pretty sure. And fuck it. Give me a gobble gum while we're here. Why not? Let's gamble a bit. Indigestion again. It really wants us to make these zombies fart. Night night, Mangler. Oh, there's another one? Guess what? Dead. And do I still have... No, I don't. I need me a legendary key. Who's got one? Not you, apparently. Dude, I'm spitting. Oh, and there's Opal. Let's go, baby. We're all the way up to the highest camo we can get with this, but we might as well see what the highest round we can get with this is. Earlier on stream, like I mentioned before, I think we made it to round 44. Holy shit, dude. What's happening? Am I in a musical? But let's see if we can beat it and beat our highest round currently. And we just completed the hit list event. So technically now is when we should be starting to uh, use the drill. But I may or may not have used some COD points and picked up the bundle for it. Okay, got anything good for me in here? Cashmere. That's something. I wish I could have all three of my weapons be melees, though, because then we can knock out Opal for every single one of them. But no, we can only have one melee. But we can cheese the zombies if I can just make this jump. Let's go. And now the zombies are going to have to spawn right up there in these windows. And the only way up is from right here. So they can't drop down on top of us. They can only come up from this spot over here. And as long as we stay on top of them... We should be all right to survive. Hopefully. As long as the vermin don't take me out. Oh, they got me a sentry gun? Don't mind if I do. Since we don't need to leave for ammo, we actually could stay here the entire game if we wanted to. Now, if that's not the end of the round, I think I'm going to go ahead and turn on the rampage inducer. Oh, there's the end of the round. A little bit of a scary time to go and do this, but if we can do it and we can make the jump from the roof, we are going to be flying through rounds. Let's start it up and let's run for our lives. Come on, we can do this. We can do this. Let's just take one quick loop around here. Go through this way and jump. No. Well, this is what we asked for. We just got to make sure that we have our attack sprint when we go and do it. Because otherwise, we're not going to have enough speed to make it over to that platform. So let's walk for a little bit. Take our zip line, enjoy the view, and then we book it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, let's go! Alright, now I'm ready for you, zombies. Come on up. Oh shit, we sent them flying. And we're still one shotting zombies on round 37. Ooh, bye bye. See you later. I wish I could just ragdoll them into other zombies and it does like kind of like G mod damage. Where I can just toss them and get a nice, like, collat just from punching them with this. Holy shit, we're sending them to the moon. We're starting a space program over here. This is sick. I think the only thing that can really mess up this spot is an abomination. But if it shows up, we can just pop our uh, field upgrade and then maybe try to pop our uh, killjoy. And we can get an insta-kill on them. But if all else fails, then we can just mutant injector. This is just not fair for the zombies. They just keep getting smacked. Go ahead, try it. Nope. Okay, all right. The second I start speaking is when I start missing my swings. There we go. We're about to get the world's slowest round 50. This is with the rampage inducer on, and we're getting one zombie every 30 seconds. I wish this was just a little bit more efficient. What if I see how many energy mines I can stack up here? We're doing side quests now. Oh, and here comes an abomination. You stay down there. Actually, you know what? Eat this. That did not make it nearly as far as I thought it would. Let's go ahead and use this. Where'd it go? 
I just didn't spawn in because that zombie came in and messed with me. That's not cool. There it is. Honestly, the abomination might be. Oh, nope, 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 no, it's not. It's not doing nothing. Fuck. I was about to say it might be saving us here because it was tanking all the damage for us. But no, the second I, I try to say something nice about him, he knocks me. Like a dick. I didn't need to do anything on parasite rounds. My energy mines got me. I just keep sniping anything that comes up here. Okay, as soon as I say something. What the hell, energy mine? Get him. Bastard. Last time I give you a compliment. How long does this stay here for? Until a zombie walks into it? Or is there a timer on it? Because in Cold War, you could just place them down until something walked into it. And it would stay there the entire time. Damn! I can one-shot the manglers? Dude, I might be sleeping on energy mine a little too much. Oh, and our energy mine's gone. For no reason. So I don't know if I can place down more than one. That sucks. So I'll put down one more. And we're switching back to Frenzied. And although this spot is fun... I'm kind of getting bored. Zombies are coming at us way too slow. There's got to be a better spot we can run the melee at. Maybe just up here on the roof is where we're meant to be. Oh, motherfuck. Awesome. We're out of last chance uses. And there goes the self-revive. Cool. The second we move away from our bitch spot, you guys are getting mangled. You're getting manged on. Do we still buy a self-revive or are we out? No, we can. Immune injector. Maybe we just train and spawn now instead. You know what? I'm going to the jet gun room. Actually, you know what? It's a vermin round. Again, somehow. So we have to wait. Actually, I'm saving and quitting on vermin rounds. When we come back, they should be gone. I ain't dealing with them. Hey, please don't give us the packet loss back. No packet loss, please. All right, we're good. I'm going in the jet gun room. Oh, shit. I already have it, but it's on the table. What? You can dupe a jet gun? I don't know how that'd be useful in a solo game, but it's an option. I wonder if I can just survive by just spamming this. Because only like one or two zombies can come at me at a time, and I think I might be able to heal faster than they can hit me. At least slightly. Let's see how long it takes for me to die in here. I might simply be the best player of all time. Ain't nothing touched me in here. I'm just way too good. Oh, I had to say something, didn't I? Just had to talk. I think we're out of self revives after this. So that's cool. That's awesome. That's sick. Let's see. Oh, no, we're not. No way. Why does this work so well? Am I a genius? Did I just find a new strat? Did I just make the hit of the summer? Nope, I did not drop the hit of the summer. It's always a vermin, dude. They got my number. Now I think we're for sure done with self revives. I think we're cooked in that department. Yep. Unfortunate. But maybe we can get lucky and get a self revive from this trial. Nope, not looking like it. But maybe from the vault. Come on. If I don't have one by next exfil and I'm still alive, I'm probably gonna try to exfil. We're gonna try to get the hell out of here. Unless we can get it from the vending machine. Do we have that kind of luck? Nope. Exfil's ready to go, but I have one more key. Can I get anything with it? Nope. Let's see if we can get this Exfil started. Please don't kill me. Thank you. And let's try to get out of here. How many zombies are going to get on this Exfil? I feel like it's going to be fat. 56? That's not bad. The hardest thing is going to be this Abomination, so I'm just going to Mutant Injector him, and then we'll melee the rest. Can't use! What? What? Hello? They tried to scam me right there. Right in front of my own eyes. I saw that game. You're not slick. You're gonna get me killed. Alright, well, he's dead. Took a little cashmere. And we're already basically done. Wait, hold on. Let's not speak too soon. Last zombie. Night, night. We're actually making it out of here. Around 51 X fill only using the drill. So now we've hit my highest round in this game so far. And it was with a melee weapon. 
that isn't even the best melee weapon in the game. I think we just need to try to go for round 100. And that should knock out a good chunk of the kills for this event too, or at least a, a, a little bit, a small amount, because we need billions of kills as a community. I did my part. I did 3,000. And how many kills as a community are we at now? We're at 1,191,000,000 kills out of the 50 billion that we need so get to work well after all the ups and downs today we have opal on our power drill this thing still a lot of fun to use you know it's a little disappointing i came into it with way too high of expectations but you know it did the job and we actually got pretty far with it found out some good strategies with the melees and it was a lot of fun to use i'm not gonna lie very goofy weapon well i think that about covers it for the power drill i just hope that in the future when we get melee weapons like this they're more like cold war where they have a little bit more of like unique effects unique abilities where they kind of stand out more from each other and aren't just like reskins of the same thing because melee weapons are one of my favorite classes to use both in multiplayer and in zombies so it'd be nice to have a little bit more variety not saying that a power drill isn't unique but it just behaves basically the same way as the baseball bat but i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here before they decide to go ahead and launch another update and i just lose all my augments or something so Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support and I will see you in the next one. Later.